everybody, it's Jonathan, a.k.a. Senor Smoke, with Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome. This is going to be a smoke tip video where I take a question that has probably been posed to me many, many times by shoppers, customers, and uh, we're going to put it out there on the internet for you to help you with your purchasing uh, decision. Question is, hey man, if I buy this high-end grill, um, is my food going to taste better than going low-end? And the answer, of course, is an emphatic no. Hell no, actually. Um, I have a piece of skirt steak that is marinating right now uh, in my refrigerator. And I could tell you right now, if I had a Home Depot burner grill right here, where I put it on my 42 inch alfresco, it's gonna come out the same damn way. Not even, no question about that. The difference is gonna be the cooking time. Um, there's also going to be other differences, um, features on these grills, right? So a high-end grill is going to give you stuff like better uh, cooking grates, thicker, gonna be able to conduct heat better. Obviously, the design integrity of the piece from top to bottom is going to be much better from the stainless steel that they use to the thickness, the gauge of the grates. Uh, they're going to give you things like lights, you know, illumination. They're also um, going to back their product up with better warranty coverage. They're likely going to send somebody out to your house to fix any issues that arise over time. They're just built better, they're supported better, and they're also going to offer better features like higher output burners. They're gonna offer uh, infrared burners, whether it's on the back for the rotisserie. Oh yeah, they're gonna offer rotisseries. The low end grills won't. They're gonna offer potentially uh, uh, smoker boxes. The DCS to your Series 7 does that, the Alfresco. Much better accessories to go along with it. Um, so it's going to be a much better grilling experience Plus, it's going to last, likely, what the hell was that? Um, it's probably going to last if you take care of it the right way, 15, 18 years, right? Maybe pushing 20. I've had some DCS, old school DCS customers that have replaced grills at 20 years out. Um, the other, the cheapies, right? The Home Depot special is going to burn out in about a year or two, okay? And if you get that like one guy who's like, hey man, I spent $4.99 on my Home Depot grill and um, it's lasted me 10 years. Well, good, you've, you've probably cooked once every three years on it. Um, but the bottom line is the way your food is going to taste is coming from what you're cooking with, your hands and your heart. It's not the grill. The grill is simply a vehicle to get you to your destination. The destination is the same no matter what grill you use. It's about the ride it will be much different. You want comfort, you want sport. The ride is much, much different. And that's what I gotta say. So if, um, hopefully I didn't kneecap myself and uh, you know, people are gonna say, hey man, what do you, you don't wanna sell high-end grills? No, well, what I wanna do is, of course I wanna sell high-end grills, but I wanna also speak the truth and help folks out there. So if you're not comfortable with the high-end, spending that kind of dough, even though you're gonna get all the things that I listed, but you also don't want to go down the cheapy burner route. Then what you do is you find that comfortable place in the middle to upper middle. That's like where something like Napoleon um, sits very, very well. And uh, particularly Prestige or Pro Prestige. You could dive into other videos on those products that I've done or I will do. I'm a proud owner of a Pro 500, love that grill. Anyway, that's about it. If there's any questions or you want to refute what I'm saying, please, Email me questions at rofgrills.com. And that's about it, folks. Thank you.